This is the all new BMW 1 series, which is actually quite different compared to the previous generation models. Because unlike past generations of the BMW 1 series, this new one is now front wheel drive. Let's find out then if this non rear wheel drive BMW 1 series still deserves the BMW badge. But first, let's talk about its design. Dahil front wheel drive na itong bagong BMW 1 series, hindi na niya kailangan ng mahabang hood. Because front wheel drive cars usually have their engines mounted transversely. The short hood isn't what you would normally expect in a BMW, but the all new 1 series still looks good nonetheless. There's a large kidney grille up front, along with those hexagonal LED daytime running lights, and sporty front bumpers. Because this is the sport variant, this model gets 17-inch 2-tone alloy wheels. Moving towards the back, and you'll see BMW's signature Hofmeister kink at the rear windows. The wide LED taillights do look nice, along with the sporty rear bumper. Moving inside, and you'll immediately notice that the all-new BMW 1 series is more spacious than ever before. Unlike past models, a 5'10 adult like me can now finally sit at the rear seats. Legroom and headroom is pretty good. Plus rear seat passengers get air vents and USB type C ports. Additionally, because this car is now front wheel drive, trunk space is now at 380 liters, which is 20 liters bigger than the previous model. This trunk finally puts the 1 series in line with the Audi A3 and Mercedes-Benz A-Class. Moving towards the front, and you'll appreciate the well-built interior. As expected from a BMW, there's plenty of soft-touch materials and aluminum trims, as you would expect in a car like this. BMW's iDrive remains to be one of my most favorite infotainment systems in the industry. Because this is the base 118i Sport, you don't get the newer iDrive 7. Instead, you get this iDrive 6 infotainment system with a smaller screen. Nevertheless, it's still a top-notch infotainment system. iDrive 6 doesn't have Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, but I actually don't mind since the infotainment system is really that good. The all-new BMW 1 series is available in two engine choices across two variants. The base 118i Sport is powered by a 1.5-liter 3-cylinder turbocharged gasoline engine, which produces these numbers. On the other hand, the performance-oriented M135i X-Drive is powered by a 2-liter 4-cylinder turbocharged gasoline engine, which produces these numbers. As for transmission choices, the front-wheel drive 118i Sport uses a 7-speed dual-clutch transmission, while the all-wheel drive M135i X-Drive uses a torque converter 8-speed automatic. So, now that the BMW 1 series is front-wheel drive, does it actually even matter na hindi na siya ngayon rear-wheel drive? Actually, no. Not even a bit. Why? Because for the most part, it's actually a much better car compared to its predecessor. So, being rear-wheel drive, ang magiging advantage niya out of a front-wheel drive 1 series would be when you exit a corner, meron ka nung feel na parang you can rotate the chassis as you exit the corner. But that's about it. For the most part, <laughs> it's actually pretty fun to drive. Wasn't it? It's really, really seriously fun to drive. It's so planted the corners. I, I am really enjoying this car so much. Whereas the one series with the rear-wheel drive platform felt a bit twitchy. So, medyo mag mess up ka lang. You can spin out kasi nga rear-wheel drive siya. But yun nga kung nagkamali ka, there's that danger na you might spin out. There's that increased tendency for that. Pero, this car feels safer, more stable, and the steering, the steering is fabulous. Ang sobrang ganda ng pakiramdam steering niya. Even better, I think, than the rear-wheel drive 1 series because it's super reactive. Ang super responsive niya sa mga liko mo. And there's also a decent amount of feedback. As in, 
this steering feels telepathic. It's really good. Super fun to drive. Super sporty. It's not the same EPS na medyo laid back. Less ang response and feel like in a 5 series. This feels alive. This feels fun to drive. Contributing to the fun factor of the all new BMW 1 series is its all around independent suspension and the fact that it uses a derivative of the front wheel drive platform of the Mini Cooper. However, this car's sporty suspension setup has a negative effect on ride quality. Yun nga lang ang problema mo, though this car is really fun to drive and the suspension deals with roll pretty well, yun nga lang, matagtag siya, medyo firm yung ride. Di naman, di naman siya kasi lala ng, for example, like a body and frame SUV, like a Fortuner or a Toyota Hilux. Di naman siya yung ganun level, pero it's really, really firm. As in, talaga, it's really firm. It doesn't help with the fact na as with every typical BMW, nakaraan flat tires din to. So, talagang, ang ride quality niya is on the firm side. Though, tolerable. Naman siya yung super lala. On the upside yun nga, it's a fun hatchback to play with. As in, you really want to play with this hatchback. Hindi siya boring. As in, ang super fun drive niya. Chuckable in every corner. Talagang, <laughs> super fun. This BMW 118i Sports tiny 1.5 liter 3 cylinder gasoline engine also deserves some praise. BMW's twin power turbo technology has made this tiny 1.5 liter engine feel a lot bigger and punchier. This tiny yet powerful gasoline engine also gets excellent fuel economy. For my entire week's use with this car, my average fuel economy hovered around 11.2 to 11.5 kilometers per liter. Yes, itong 1.5 liter turbocharged 3 cylinder niya. Super torquey and super punchy niya. And ang ganda rin ng hatak niya on most of the rev range. Hindi siya, hindi mo maiisip na this is a small engine. It's really powerful, it's really perfect for this car. It's the same engine you would find in a Mini Cooper because after all, this front wheel drive 1 series uses a lot in common, has a lot in common with the Mini Cooper platform. And, first of all, lang sabing boring to drive ng Mini Cooper, hindi pa? And then, yung 7-speed dual-clutch transmission niya, super suave, super nice, super smooth. Hindi siya yung typical dual-clutch na ang jerky niya in city. No, it's smooth for the most part. The shifts are sublime, super smooth, super quick. Nice transmission. It's well calibrated and it's really perfect for this powertrain. Pricing for the all-new BMW 1 Series starts at a little under 2.7 million pesos, which gets you this base 118i Sport variant. This variant is equipped with LED head and tail lights, 17-inch alloy wheels, Sportline exterior package, illuminated exterior door handles, electric adjustment for the driver's seat with two-person memory, synthetic leather interior, ambient LED lighting, the base iDrive 6 infotainment system, front and rear parking sensors, reverse camera, and BMW's parking assistant self-parking feature. On the other hand, the performance-oriented M135i xDrive costs a little under 4.6 million pesos, and this gets you a more aggressive exterior design, 18-inch alloy wheels, adaptive suspension, launch control, M Sport brakes, Torsen Limited Slip Differential, the latest BMW iDrive 7, which works in conjunction with the new live cockpit fully digital instrument cluster. The M135i xDrive also benefits from a number of driver assist systems, ranging from automatic emergency braking, lane departure warning, lane keeping assist, fully adaptive LED headlights, and BMW's reversing assistant feature which remembers the last 50 meters you drove and the system basically replaces your steering inputs as you reverse out of a sticky situation. In conclusion, it certainly doesn't matter that the all-new BMW 1 series is now front-wheel drive because the fact of the matter is, this front-wheel drive BMW 1 series is still a fun-to-drive car. On top of the class-leading driving dynamics, the all-new BMW 1 series is now more practical and spacious than ever before. And for that sole metric alone, the sporty BMW 1 series will finally appeal to a much wider audience.